guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the notification button to see more awesome videos like this one. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a flat braid, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's a braid that looks like this, with gimp string, also known as boondoggle. So, I have done many other boondoggles lately this year. I have done this one. This is the kind that we are going to be making today. I made it little, and this, and this is the length that I'm going to be teaching you guys to do today. Well, you can do it way longer. And this is a basic box braid. And then, I forgot what this one's called, but it's a flat. It's supposed to be flat, but it actually made it twisted. So flat, it would look like this. And this, I made tons of these. And today we are going to be using the colors purple and white. I have already cut the strings and put them in a knot, but if you guys want me to, to show you how to put them in the strings in a knot, I will show you guys right now. So you guys are going to cut it, your strings to a desire length. You're going to need two of white and two of purple. Then you're going to tie. You're going to make your strings into a knot like this. You're going to fold the strings in half and fold them into a knot like this. And then you're going to need a wheel that has all these numbers on it. The numbers are just to help you to place the where the strings go, which is very, very easy. But technically to make this knot, you could just tape it to the table. But it's simple to just put it in the wheel. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your knot through the wheel, the hole in the wheel, and place these strings in a certain order. I'll come back to you guys and show you which order it is. And on to the video, you will see where I put the spaces. I put two of the whites in between the 32, 31, and the 32, and 1. And you're going to have it look like this. So if you have a wheel like this, I'm going to show you, to, I'm going to give you a minute to set it up. Okay guys, if you have not set it up yet, pause the video and set it up. And if you're really confused, just, you know, try to focus on the numbers and where the strings go to the numbers. And... show you how to do it. I'm going to set my camera in a different way. Okay, so what you're going to start off at is you're going to take the string on 31 and 32, and you're going to bring it to 9 and 10. Then you're going to take the string from 32 and 1 and bring it to 22 and 23. After that, you're going to turn the wheel and take the string in between 16 and 17 to 6 and 7. Basic, right? Then the string from 15 to 16 to 25 to 26. Then, you are going to move on to step two, which is this step that I'm going to show you right now. You're going to take the string in between seven and eight to, one second, I'm still my dog. Problem solved! Okay, on to the video. I'm going to repeat the last step that I just um, told you guys, so, yeah. So, you guys are going to, wait, let me... You guys are going to be having to take the string in between 7 and 8 to in between 15 and 16. Then you're going to take the string in between 24 and 25 to 16 and 17. After that, you're going to take 
the string in between 23 and 24 to third to 31 and 32. I'm sorry, I can't read these numbers backwards. I'm not a pro at this. <laughs> Next, you're going to take the string in between 8 and 9, which is this one, and bring it to 32 and 1. After that, we are moving on to step 3. Step 3 is easy and simple. You're just moving these strings on the sides and are more to the dots. So you're going to take the string and in between 22 and 23 to 23 and 24. Then you're going to be taking the string in between 25 and 26 to 24 and 25. Now to the next side, you are going to do the string in between 9 and 10 to 8 and 9. Then 6 to 7 to 7 and 8. And there is where you go back to the beginning, where you see the two strings at the top, the two strings at the bottom, and the two different strings at the sides. Then you're going to just repeat the steps one, two, and three over and over until you get the desired length. I'm going to go through really fast and show you one more time how to do it. So you're going to take the string in between 31 and 32. Move it to 9 and 10. 32 and 31 to 22 and 23. Then to 16 and 17 to 6 and 7. Then 15 to 16 to 25 and 26. Then 7 and 8 to 15 and 16. Then 24 and 25 to 16 and 17, 23 and 24, to 31 and 32, 8 and 9, to 32 and 1. Then you're just going to bring these two side strings to the inner dot, which is 22, 23, to 23 and 24. Then the string between 25 and 26 to put it into 24 and 25. The 9 and 10 to 8 and 9, 6 and 7 to 7 to 8. Then again, you are going to repeat the steps over and over and over until you get your desired length. I'm quickly to go and do mine and then show you afterwards how it comes out. So while you guys are um, doing this, if you get confused, just scroll back the video, pause the video every step you see and see if you had messed up in a spot. So like see this, like say this line right here is all the way over here. And you're like, wait, I can't move on to the next step until this is right. So just move it back to the spot where it's supposed to be. So yeah, I'm going to continue on mine and you guys are going to continue on yours. Okay, that took me about 15 minutes to finish my up, but you want yours to end up when you feel like yours is at the length that you want it to be. See, this is what it looks like. So you want it to end to look like how it did in the beginning, and then what you want to do is you want to take, you want to lay it flat, so I'm going to change my camera. You want to lay it flat. You want to take crap. You want to just take it off like this, not these two together, like so. Then put them to the side. <coughs> okay. And then knot these two together. Take these off and you're done. You are finished with your knotted braid thing. Your flat braid. So that's what it looks like. 